Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. I thought I'd do another flip cup, maybe last one for a while, just because I need to try some other things, but um, I thought I'd try some jewel tones. So what I've got here, I'm not sure how these are going to work together, but I like jewel tones. So I've got a deep turquoise that I mixed in with a little bit of black. Um, my pouring medium is 70% glue and 30% water. Mixed one to one with the paint and then thinned with water to the correct consistency. For me, that's leaving a slight mound. Um, this is Alizarin Red. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, Alizarin Crimson. Wow. Ah. It's that weird name one. It's actually, I thought it would be like a bluish red, but it's kind of a pinkish red. And then this is a dioxanine purple, which always dries pretty dark, and purple actually does take over. So I think I'm gonna put the purple next to the white, at least for one of them, and then maybe the blue next to the white. And just, just some white, and then some yellow-orange. So we'll get kind of a jewel tone palette here. I've actually got about 10 ounces of paint. I should really only need about nine, but I'm just gonna, it was easier to mix up one ounce of pouring medium to one ounce of paint. Four or five colors, than to try and split out that one ounce I don't need over five colors, so. Oh, I don't want any silicone in the white. Okay, give these a quick stir. This shouldn't be too long. I don't know how these colors are gonna work together, so we'll see. I'll probably do two layers in the cup, I think. Yeah, because I think I might want that white to interact with some of the purple in one layer and this dark turquoise in another layer. But for starters, let me think about this. So I'll do white with purple. So light, dark, then maybe a light, medium, dark. Oh, and then look, then I've got the blue next to the white. And so then I'll come back. So that's the order I'll do them in. Okay, that works for me. All right, so let's try and do two layers of this, about half and half. I probably, well, yeah. Put that white down in there first. Just eyeballing about half. Purple, white, purple, orange, yellow, orange. If they don't get muddied, those two should look cool next to each other. And I like the yellow, orange, and the red next to each other if they don't get muddied. And then this deep turquoise that I made even a little bit deeper with some black. And then we'll go back in. Second layer deep now. And because I think I have a little bit of extra paint, I'm not gonna worry about scraping that out. Just going for it. Quick little flip cup. Then I did the orange. So light, dark, light. Medium. <laughs> and dark. Okay, well that's a pretty full cup of paint. And I'm gonna, ow. So, I was sanding off the back of some coasters this morning and I have a disc sander and it slipped and I, I cut a big slit in my hands. So, now I wear leather gloves because <laughs> that would be the wise thing to do. I don't think I'll need any of this paint, but I'll keep it handy just in case. 
Like I don't mind going in here with some of this extra. I'm just getting some of the corners. <laughs> so I didn't scrape it out. It's all gonna get covered over anyways, these corners. But if I can make it a little bit easier for this to fall over the edge there, then that's a good thing. Then maybe my cells will hold together a little better if I don't have to overstretch it. So since I didn't scrape my paint out into the cup, we'll just use it to cover up some of these sides and corners a little. And again, I'm not too worried about this because it's all gonna get tipped over anyways. I'm just getting a wet surface, basically, is what I'm doing here. All right, that was a good way to spend some time while I, boy, I didn't think of that turquoise and orange making a green, but that's sure what it's doing, isn't it? All right, let's pull this up here. I'm gonna slide down here, and then if I see a lot of fun things happening, I'll leave it be, but if I see like one, like if the purple really takes over then I'll probably slide my cut through it a little and see if I can get some other colors to come out and play. Oh, I thought the purple would take over, but Looks like the blue did. All right. Let's move this over a little bit. And we'll put some heat down and get those the silicone reacting. So probably everybody knows this already, but it's the heat that interacts with the silicone and creates all these fun little cells. there for now because they're gonna come out and grow I do hope some more of that orange comes out I really like oh there's a little bit there so again I've got that teal purple yellow orange red and white and I definitely wanted the white next to the purple and the blue because they're so dark and the purple really dries dark almost black sometimes if you don't have it um, mixing in with another color I don't mind that there's some blank space I wanted to have some like a little bit of a background so that's good that could be interesting we'll see it's a big long caterpillar but it almost looks intentional which it's not but <laughs> All right, let's just start slowly moving this back and forth a little bit. I'm gonna go up to this corner, I think, first. Stand up for this. I don't normally try and catch corners too much, but I really like those cells. So if I can keep a couple of the little red cells while letting that spill over, I'd like to, because I think they'll stretch out with the, oh yeah, with the orange in there, which I like. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's think here. I guess I'll go to this corner next. <laughs> Not really the jewel tone I was expecting, but okay. I just really want that to just kind of drop over. And I don't want to lose all that. I definitely don't want to lose the orange little bits that I have because they're the little spark. Let's see, eh, I'm gonna go over here because I got most of the weight of the paint over here anyways. just want to take my time getting it there and then I can just kind of help it over the edge a little there because I don't want to keep tilting and lose my orange. back here and then kind of come down this way like you might want a little brown there which is weird you know what I'm going to bring this back up here a little bit and get over this side while I can before I stretch them all out of shape. Okay. And now we'll go back for that one last corner. I think I might want to try and some of that brown off. I really don't like that. Like right down here. I don't want to lose those pretty little orange ones, but I can just get some of that brown off. I'm happy to get some of it off. And now let's see what I want to end up with here. some interesting color combinations then. <laughs> A little odd. I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I guess I wasn't expecting that. But there's some pretty fun cells in there. So I can bring you down to take a closer look at some of these. I'm going to take my gloves off. I wonder if I want to just, I mean, I've got the weight of the paint here and I don't like some of those really super stretched out cells there, so. If I can get that big globby one off the edge, I think I'd be happier. And there she goes. She's almost gone. And now she's gone. And I might even get that one off too. Because I can. And I was, so while I was doing that, 
was really kind of trying to pay attention to this. So all the weight of the paint was here. So if I'm tilting it, trying to get something here off, I don't like. That works, but just keep an eye out for your other areas. And I actually like the flow of that a little better, and I don't have those big weird, there's some weird ones there. I managed to keep most of my orange that I had crap up. That was kind of my favorite kind of highlight of all of this, so I tried not to lose too much of those. And now let's come in. <laughs> it's definitely weird color combination, so. So, uh, I think it, I'll turn the lights off. I think you can see it better without the lights as far as uh, the overall look of it. So here I've got some of the purple and the orange interacting well together there. That's pretty cool. And that teal blue is going to dry and look, I think, almost black. Be a nice contrast. I kind of like the little dots I've got along there. I'm glad I've got some negative space because it almost all filled up with cells, which I don't always necessarily like. But there are some, these are some pretty fun cells up in here. <laughs> like that orange and red together. And then a little bit of purple, a little bit of turquoise, like around the edge. So you got like the red in the middle and then the orange and then the turquoise and the white. Looks pretty cool. But I don't know what I was expecting with all those jewel colors together, but I guess it wasn't that, but it's kind of cool. I like the fact that I did do the two ribbons in it, so it's got a little bit of a flow, and then I've got a little bit of negative space. And so yeah, there's a, another flip cup. Got some pretty fun cells in there. And some big ones next to some small ones kind of like that little bit of a variation of the size of them again up here i've got some big ones and some small ones so it makes it a little bit more interesting if you've got some different size ones which i've definitely got real tiny medium real big and the real big ones didn't really stretch super like uh, ob obnoxiously disproportionately like weird shaped so thanks for watching I think it's going to dry pretty dark in here like almost black and that'll give it some more pop and I got my turquoise since it was next to the white but then that right there is probably going to be like dark dark and look kind of cool probably when it dries I don't know I don't like that I got some kind of brown up there with that orange and purple, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. So, all right, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. Bye.